The film you are about to see represents a significant breakthrough in the advancing science of the motion picture. You are about to witness history in the making. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the first ever South Lake College TV studio broadcast. We're very excited to be presenting today's show and even more excited that you decided to tune in and watch. Are you watching on your phone? I know I am. I've got it right here and I can see myself. It really is a great honour that you have chosen to join us for our inaugural broadcast live from the South Lake College TV studio. My name is Lambros. Ross. I'm Relia. And I'm Elijah. We'll be your host today and we sure do have some treats lined up for you. Did I hear someone say celebrity interviews? You sure did, but first... Luckily, here at South Oakley College, we're aware of the TV convention of delayed gratification. The what? The cliffhanger. We really do have a gem-packed show ahead, so make sure you stay tuned. We do indeed have a celebrity interview. We have some correspondence to the Pan Pacific Swimming Championship of the South East Suburbs also known as South Oakley College Swim Carnival. We explored the possibilities of living in 2015, the land of Back to the Future. And no TV show in the variety format will be completed without a musical performance, and today we're very lucky to be featuring Cassie. And now we've come to the point in the show where we throw, boom, there's another TV convention to our correspondent team. And today we have Ashley and Tiana. Hello guys, can you hear us? Hi, my name is Tiana. And I'm Ashley. We have lots of fun at Swimming Carnival. And we filmed some clips for you. What colour are you in? I'm in Banks here. Thanks so much for that report, Ashley and Tiana. Great to see our Year 7's getting into the spirit. Hey, I'm in Year 7. Yes, Aurelia. It's pretty cool that you're taking on such a big role in our first broadcast. Don't be so patronising, Elijah. Anyway, it's time for our next segment. It's some kind of issue. As you can see, this segment is called Some Kind of Issue, and this is where we talk about the real, deep and meaningful stuff. Yes, that's right, people. We're here to talk about Back to the Future. The fact that we're now in 2015 raises a whole bunch of philosophical questions. Like, how come I don't have a hoverboard yet? I was really looking forward to getting those shoes that tie themselves. Guys, hold up a second. I'm about to blow y'all's mind. Did you really just say y'alls? How many apostrophes are even in that word? It's not a word. I was being ironic. Hip stuff. Okay, okay. Hear me out. So it's 30 years since Back to the Future came out, right? And they go back 30 years in time, right? So that means that we're now as far from Marty McFly's time as Marty McFly was from his parents' time. So does that mean we're all Marty McFly's parents? No. Hang on, guys. I, le I learned a cool trick once. I think we can actually go back into the future if we get this right. Can we get camera one to point at the screen? Okay, cool. I think we're back in time already. How far back are we going? I think we're going to 1985. Look, there's a portal to 1985. Who are these people? They're the citizens of 1985. They look like they're having fun. Let's go! Turns out 1985 isn't as much fun as I thought it would be. Is this what our parents really did for fun? Can we 
we go back now? Um, guys, why are you looking at me? I never said I had a way back. While we're trying to get in touch with Stephen Hawking, here's a word from our sponsors who are also stuck in 1985. On your first flight, or your 50th, we know about flight. Welcome back. It's time to look at something exciting. By that we mean celebrity interview. Interviews with interesting views. Today's celebrities recently no got to hang out with American Vice President Joe Biden at when the White House. They're called the Gregory Brothers and they're responsible for his interviews. The videos have been seen more than 500 million times on YouTube. Interviews. And they took some time out of their day to Skype with us earlier today. Views. Double rainbow on the way across the sky. It's a miracle. We're the Gregory Brothers. Brothers. And we just want to say hello to South Oakley College. We love your stuff guys, and one thing we're all wondering, when you're audit tuning the news, do you come up with the song first, or write something to fit what's being said? When you fit people to the beat that you've written, uh, you really write melodies that you wouldn't have written otherwise, because it's not what would have come into your head at first. Just like in the pop music world, there are people who are uh, known for their voice, their, the quality of their voice, not necessarily their... Um, their lyrics, and in, in that case, we might write music to support their singing. But on the other hand, there are also those people out there that are great lyricists, um, great wordsmiths, but don't necessarily have the vocal quality. Um, and so we'll write music in a different way to kind of support them if that's the case. Is the songification kind of like a political cartoon? Maybe. I think the main difference would be that our subjects don't have as big of chins and or noses. This new century, our economy is growing like 1999. The crime rate came down for the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Get it, get it, like 1999. Your audience, to a certain extent, is viral. They're all very sick. Sick, sick people. Yeah. Troubled people. <laughs> What does it mean to go viral? For, for me, viral is when uh, when a video you do or something you do, it doesn't have to be a video, goes beyond your fan base. Like say, even if you have a couple million fans, if, if your fans are all 13 to 25 and all of a sudden you hear that like moms are watching it, and you're like, oh, why is it on all these blogs for moms or like old people? You're like, now it has truly gone viral because it is now on a morning show. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. He's out. Woo! I love cats. I love every kind of cat. I just want to hug all of them, but I can't, cannot get every cat. Cannot get every cat. There's not much we could do to top that, so we're going to go home. All in a day's work. To take us back, we're going to hear a fantastic song from our very own Cassie. <laughs>